Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about That Winter The Wind Blows. That Winter The Wind Blows is a melodrama about a handsome man and a beautiful blind woman who don't believe in love. Also is an orphan who is left heartbroken after his first love dies. He leads a goalless life as a high stakes gambler with a 99.9% .9 winning probability. Oyoung is a lonely heiress who lives alone after her parents got divorced and she finds herself becoming visually impaired. The two learn the true meaning of love after meeting each other. Now, I rated this drama three stars and from that you can obviously tell that I didn't enjoy this. I didn't find this drama enjoyable to watch at all. The timing of this was so wrong and watching this became more like a chore. Now, I believe if I had watched it another time, I probably would have had a different opinion of it. When I watched It's Okay, That's Love, I thought that not all melodramas could be heavy and depressing. But damn, did I find this depressing. This drama has definitely made me go back to hating melodramas. The plot was okay, but I really hate it when the writers make the characters do something that's out of their character, if that makes sense. For example, towards the end, it was like our characters had a mind of their own. A lot of the decisions were made by our characters were wrong and didn't make sense to me. Additionally, this drama started off really well. There was some really funny moments between Young and Sue. They also had great chemistry, even though the intimate scenes got a little uncomfortable because of the situation. Like, you know, they're not related, but it's still like, Ew. And then after all of that, the story deteriorates. Also, there were so many unnecessary twists and turns in the story. When that happens, it really doesn't surprise me because it happens a lot in Korean dramas. What I really liked about this drama was the character development. In the beginning, a lot of our characters were selfish and guarded, but then they learned to love themselves and trust others. Seeing our characters change for the better is always wonderful to watch. A lot of people found this drama pretty emotional. Um, I didn't. Did this drama make me cry? Nope. Did I come close to crying? absolutely not. I don't think I was in the right frame of mind to watch this. I just couldn't find it in myself to relate to these characters, even though our main characters had sad and sentimental stories. I really should have watched this drama with a clear head, because all I could think about was watching the next episode of Running Man and Kim Jong Kook. Of course, I have to talk about our main characters. Jo In Sung gave a flawless performance. I liked him in That's Okay, That's Love and Frozen Flower. He's just an incredible actor and wonderful to watch. This isn't the first drama I've seen starring Song Hee Kyun. I loved her in Descendants of the Sun, but I didn't like her character in this. Young's character really got on my nerves. I really tried to understand her character, but I just couldn't. I mean, one minute she's suicidal, the next she's saying she wants to live. It's hard to even describe what kind of character she was because she kept changing her mind all the time. Let's not forget our hero's best friend. What a loyal friend Kim Bum's character was. I'll admit that I disagreed with some of his actions and felt that he was overshadowed by our hero. The only other drama I've seen Kim Bum in is Boys of Flowers and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like him in that drama. I don't like that drama anyway. My heart and soul went out to Muchul. Muchul. He's literally the only character I cared about in the end. So yes, my overall rating of this drama is three stars. Overall, I have very mixed feelings about that winter the wind blows. I blame myself for not liking this drama, but I think that's down to the fact that I watched this at the wrong time. So yes, I'm to blame. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.